Can I help you? Yes, I'm sure you can. Uh, sorry. My name is Watson. Uh, Dr. John Watson of Baker Street. I am looking for a woman who is staying here. Her name is Angela Osborne. There's no one of that name here. Oh, but Angela Osborne is here. I am certain of it. Well, I think you'd better speak to my uncle. Mary? This way. Oh, hello, Watson. What are you doing here? You come to help us? Good. Uncle, Dr. Watson is looking for someone called Angela Osborne. I've told him I've never heard of her. Oh, what makes you think this Osborne woman is here? Oh, she gave this hostel as her address in a business transaction. Oh, when? About two years ago. Oh, names mean nothing here, Watson. We've taken a girl occasionally who needs help, but they change their names as often as they change their clothes. No, I can't help you. But she is here. I'm certain of it. And I'm certain she's not. Now, you've seen these people outside. This is their only hospital, and I'm their only doctor. So you'll appreciate that I haven't time to stand here answering questions about lost women. I'll not be put off, Murray. I know that the woman is here, and I demand to see her. Demand? As it be damned to you, sir! Will you kindly leave my surgery? Oh, but please, Dr. Watson. Well... You must excuse my uncle. He works even at night. His work is these people. I insist upon seeing Angela Osborne at once. I will not be put off, young lady. Please, Dr. Watson. There is something very wrong here. Everyone's saying they've never heard of Angela Osborne. You haven't seen the last of me, I promise you. I will not rest until I have found out what you have done to this poor, unfortunate girl. You can be sure of that. Please, I've come to converse, not engage in fisticuffs. Who the devil are you? Sherlock Holmes. You may remember we met yesterday. Sherlock Holmes? Don't you think we'd be more comfortable in here? <laughs> What's all this about, Holmes? How did you get here? I followed this young lady. I saw no one. That is exactly what people may expect to see when I follow them. Uh, may I ask why you followed Miss Young? She rushed out the moment the name Angela Osborne was mentioned, which was just what I expected someone to do. You sent Dr. Watson to the hostel. Don't you think you'd better tell me the whole story, Lord Carfax? It's none of your damn business. Oh, why don't you tell him, Edward? There's nothing to hide. Well, it's as I told you yesterday. I went to Paris and found that my brother Michael had thrown up his studies and returned to England. For weeks, I tried to find him, but... Then one night, a man came to see me. He told me that Michael had married a prostitute. Blackmail. He threatened to tell the papers. <laughs> he was far cleverer than that. He threatened to tell my father. He'd chosen his time well. My father had just suffered a very severe heart attack that very week. Uh, you've met my father, Mr. Holmes. The family name is the meaning of his life. 
But surely your father is a man of the world? Of the old world. Such a shock would have killed him. So you paid? And are you still? The blackmailer came back three times. I then refused to pay him any more until he told me the whereabouts of my brother and his... That woman he married. He told me that if I visited the hostel the next day, that Michael would be waiting for me. And was he waiting for you? No. Uh, but I met Dr. Murray, and uh, I met Miss Young. I told them my story. Michael had been helping Dr. Murray in his surgery. He gave me the address of his lodgings, but when I went round there, I, I found that he'd left. No one has seen or heard of them since. And your blackmailer? He bought himself a tavern, the Angel and Crown. Did you know Michael Osborne, Miss Young? He left just the day before I came to the hostel. It's a wretched story, Holmes. The one good thing about it was that Edward, that is Lord Carfax, became so interested in my uncle's work. It is his money that has kept the hostel going these last few months. When I saw the fight that Dr. Murray was making against the, the poverty and the, the sin in this district, it was the least I could do to try to help. He even bought this house to be near. I'd be grateful if you would mention nothing of this to my father. There is one more thing, Lord Carfax. What branch of medicine was your brother studying? His ambition was to be a surgeon. 